Hi, this is Bruce Pappas again. I'm going to ex uh, explain something here and actually correct it on something that happens quite frequently with the levers on these machines. I just replaced my uh, shower screen with a new La Pavone branded IMS screen. And um, I forgot to do something that I had done previously. So you can see my handle wiggles a lot. Some people say, hey, this is typical, they like it, it's no problem. I don't really like it a lot. Um, so what I'm going to do, let, let's just show how you adjust the handle. Uh, as I've previously explained, I've got this nice little stainless steel, a uh, creative work. Creative work, creative works. It's the people who, the guy who produces this out of California. He does quite a bit of things for the uh, for La Pavone. Uh, machines, lever machines. I took off my handle. Um, so what's the problem? The problem is there's too much movement in the back side and the front side on these two pins. I'm going to do a couple things to kind of adjust that. And I've already done this once, but obviously it's not enough. See, here's my lever. And you can see, if you can look, this actually side curves in a little bit. This one's pretty straight. This one curves a little bit. But in the back, I'm going to decrease the size of this hole here. I can't really decrease this here. And I'll show you. I've got several different kinds of sizes of shims and, and washers that I can use. I've got three different sizes that I can use back here in, in terms of thicknesses. Um, and I've already, uh, these are the ones that I pulled out. Uh, right here. I don't know if you can see these the size of these. These are pretty thin and they don't really show a lot. Um, they were the same ones that were recommended. Well, that's really cool. Uh, well, I've got more right now. These are the same ones that were recommended for the uh, for the roller bearings if you put in the three series. So I'm going to try to because this is the way this one's set up, I'm going to try to bend this one over a little bit more so it's tighter in the back, so I don't have to use any shims there. And to do that, I've got a plastic, uh, a, a plastic mallet here, and then uh, with a lever, and I'm going to put it on something that I uh, that's soft. I don't know if you can see over here a little bit, and I'm going to. Uh, try to bring it in a little bit. You can see it actually I brought it in quite a bit. Hopefully I didn't overdo it um, And so Now the backside should fit tight and if it's a little bit if it's too tight I can loosen up a little bit or over time it will loosen and I'm going to try to put these two washers on this these sides of the bearings and that may be a little bit more proved to be a little bit more difficult. Well, you can see I really push that puppy in there a little bit too tight uh, boy, it didn't take much, did it? Um, I'm going to stop it and grab a screwdriver so I can open this up. Okay, I'm back. I got a big ass screwdriver here. And basically, I'm going to try to do is to initially just see if I can open this up a little bit and enough to get this on. Remember, the bottom the front hole goes down. And I really I do want to make this fairly tight. So maybe, let's try this. Let's see if I can just spread this a little bit with a screwdriver, because I know it fits right in here. Uh, I need to open this up just a hair, just enough to get this to go in. Boy, it doesn't want to go. Maybe I can try it back here. Aha, uh -huh. it made it. Oh, you know what's happening? It's having a hard time going over the cap nuts. Ah, that's not going to be easy. Well, uh, I can take those off and uh, readjust the piston throw here in just a second because that's what we're doing, right? And it's not helping me much because it's just spinning. Let's try it. Sticking the pin in so it doesn't spin. Yeah, that helps. Okay. So I got, you know, it's, uh, it's not always the easiest thing to do. Okay, so we take all that back out. Now it slides down nice and easy. 
Okay. So we're going to have to redo the piston control. I don't know if you want to watch me do that again or not. We did that on the last, on the last one. Uh, a little bit of grease. Molly caught 111 lifetime supply. We'll see how long is a lifetime supply. Let's stick these beautiful little pins back in here. Uh, let's make sure we get it lined up. There we go. So the back one's lined up um, because I took out the front one too. And who knows how much lubrication they have on it at this point. Uh, redo that one too while we're at it. So look at the throw on this puppy. I don't have anything on it now. Boy, it just really works smoothly. People may be wondering uh, why didn't I uh, lubricate the piston while I had all this out. Well, I just did that not too long ago, so it's really doing well. Uh, top nut, lightly screwed on. Uh, where are my two capture? nuts on these pins you know i was wondering why you didn't put a little thread on these to be able to tighten them but frankly it's been no problem just uh hand tightening and i haven't had them come loose once so it's kind of nice to be able to do that there is a little bit of play in these okay so the back is nice and tight but see the front's still wibbling uh, wiggling a little bit so we can fix that if you're patient. Okay, so let's take this front nut out again. And I've got these two little really thin screw um, washers. And what I don't, what I want to do is to be able to have lubrication on them because they don't, they don't. Uh, They, they will stick in there if I don't lubricate them well. So I'm going to try to sneak these in here. So how, how am I going to do that? Well, uh, let's see. Let's try this one first. Because I've got so much lube on it, it actually will fit in there. Okay, that side. So that's how much shim. Gosh, that's how much play you really have on the front side. So I've got lubrication on both sides. I've stuck the washers in. I'm going to kind of clean off my hands here so I don't have a lot of stuff going. And let's see if they actually are holding in place. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, the lubrication is working. So now let's try to work this pin in and hold them in place. Ah. Oh. Takes a little bit of work. Uh, let's, actually, let's go back to the single, to, to, the, to the straight piece I showed earlier, this little uh, pointed awl. Um, and hopefully now that I've got, that I tried to do that by hand, hopefully I lined up up enough. I didn't. So why, oh, you know what's happening? It's getting pushed down. Whenever I move the lever. Okay, so now I got it to the first one. I got it to the second one. Let's pull them up. Yep, they're not moving. And so now let's tighten this little nut on here. Like I said, this just takes a little pressure. Make sure it's, your hands are clean. Get a nice little turn. Now, okay, let's watch. Look at this. So there is no more movement. Those two little shims on each side of the front on this, on the shaft pin actually took care of it. I'm not going to show you how to do the piston throw again. That's in another video. But look at the difference now in terms, I mean, I'm holding down the base and this doesn't move at all. So tighten the back. You know, with a rubber mallet, a plastic mallet, get it tight, nice and snug. 
you know, and get the, in this. And then this part, you can't really change that much. You might be able to if you really were good. I'm probably not that good. I prefer to use the shims. And so I apply two small washers, and I can uh, put the size up in the comments on this one, uh, on each side of these pins, and it just took out all the play. So that's it. Thank you.